Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Inadequate infrastructure and learning materials is hampering efforts at ensuring quality education for pupils of the Samson DA Primary School in the Setre Afram Plains District of the Ashanti region. Meanwhile, the district's chief executive, Joseph Ousu, says he is aware of the challenges confronting education and will not relent on efforts to improve the conditions of the school. This is the state of the Samson DA Primary School in the Setre Afram Plains district of the Ashanti region. The school was started by community members in 2013 but was absorbed a year later by the Ghana Education Service. Multi grade teaching is currently practiced in the school, a situation whereby a teacher has to teach two or more primary school students' grades in the same class. There are no pupils in class two, as all pupils have migrated with their parents to other adjoining communities. Currently, pupils study under this makeshift structure. They usually have challenges in the rainy season, as classes are disrupted any time it rains. Majority of pupils trek to school barefooted, as their parents do not have the means to provide sandals for them. Despite this challenge, the pupils are eager to learn. Pupils do not have access to portable water. The chief's household therefore volunteers to provide water from a stream for pupils. The school is also without a washroom and a playground. Neither is it a beneficiary of the school feeding program. <laughs> We need government intervention to provide portable water and improve the school's infrastructure. What we have been doing is uh, missed, you know, we put in a lot of support through the GET Fund and then we are using most of our district development fund to also tackle some of them and then uh, back it up with a uh, few allocations from our district assembly common fund. But what we will say too is uh, I know there are some NGOs out there who also look at helping our young brothers to have a very humane environment to study. So if they can also come in and help us, because there are so few that we have to clear, so they can come in and support us as well. Our target is by next year, we should be able to have reduced that to probably on a quick count, less than say five schools, that will still be under these uh, uh, shady structures. Yes. He disclosed the assembly will soon extend the school feeding program to majority of schools in the district, including Samson. When I took over, at the creation of the new such a farm plans, there were seven school feeding programs across the entire district, which is what was inherited from the then Kumewu district. And so when I took over in uh, May 2017, that was still the only school feeding programs we had, which means previous administration could not even add a single school feeding to what they inherited. Well, luckily for us, what I've done, I've pushed and we've gotten expansions. So currently we have five more expansions that has added on to the seven I inherited. So it brings our number to, uh, I believe, uh, 12, yes, currently. But then we are still pushing. I've put in a lot of requests through the uh, Ghana School Feeding Program, hoping to get even more schools enrolled onto the program.